What's up guys, I'm Mobin. Right now we are in the Mechatronics Lab at Department of Engineering Science and Physics at College of Staten Island City, University of New York, uh, working under the supervision of Professor Alexander Hubbard. Today is September 1st, the semester just started and we are ready to get back in motion, literally. Today we are going to explain to you the basic concepts of torque and how we apply this principle in the development of our robotic arm prototype. So why is the understanding of the concept of torque so important? So in the process of constructing this robotic arm, we have faced certain challenges and the most noteworthy among them was the fact that NEMA 17 and the NEMA 23 stepper motors were not able to generate enough torque to lift the arm. To solve this specific challenge, we had to design a mechanical system for torque amplification. So right now we are going to see how we apply the principle of torque in our robot. We used two sets of spark gear reducers and we were able to amplify the torque of the NEMA 23 motor 25 times to lift the arm. I say 25 times because the ratio between each set of gear is 1 to 5 and two sets make 25 newton meter. So in the next part we have implemented a pulley system to lift the next axis and by that we have amplified the torque of this NEMA 17 motor. So why haven't we still used a spark gear reducer over here? Because over here we had to transfer the force over a long distance and that's why a pulley system is more feasible. We also performed a lift test video for this NEMA 17 motor. Uh, which you can uh, see by clicking the link below. Now what is torque? Melvin is going to explain to you the basic concept of torque and several methods for its amplification. Famous Greek mathematician Archimedes once said, give me a place to stand and I shall move the earth. Sounds pretty crazy, right? So by this he meant that we can lift a heavier load with a much smaller force using the principle of the lever system. So let's illustrate this problem with an example on the board. So from the diagram on the board, we have a lever that it, with a box that exerts a force mg on one end of the lever, and we have a force f exerted on the other side. So why can we lift the box with the force f? From the basic law of statics, the system we can tell that the system is in equilibrium if force times distance L1 is equal to mg times L2. So since L1 is greater than L2, we can see that the force necessary to uh, lift the object is smaller than the weight. Force times distance is called torque, or the motion. So now that we understand the concept of torque, let's discuss the method methods for amplifying the torque. So here we have two stepper motors, the NEMA 17 and the NEMA 23. The NEMA 17 has a torque of about 0.6 newton meters of torque, while the NEMA 23 has a torque of about 1.26 newton meters of torque. So what's the physical explanation for the values of torque? Considering the NEMA 23, 1.26 means that I can attach a weight of about 1.26 newton newtons at one end of the one meter beam. So 1.26 is about 126 grams, which is about a little more than the size of a large apple. So these motors cannot lift a robotic arm. To amplify the torque such that the motors can lift a robotic arm, you can use a spur gear reducer system. So on the board here, the lower gear attaches to the motor and the upper gear attaches to the robotic joint. And what the gear system helps to do is to transmit the torque. So from the free body diagram, we have gear 1 and gear 2 with torque 1, T1, and L1, which is the radius of gear 1, and the force from gear 1 onto gear 2. And the case is similar for gear 2. And according to Newton's third law, we have the for it says that the force that gear 1 is exerting on gear 2 is equal to the force that gear 2 is exerting on gear 1. So from the free body diagram, we can obtain these two equations. And from these two equations, we can obtain T1 is equal to, sorry, T2 is equal to L2 divided by L1 times T1. And since the radius L2 is greater than L1, we can see that T2 is larger than T1. Hence, torque is amplified. So another method is the pulley system, where we have a smaller pulley on the motor and a larger pulley on the bow. Using the same principle from the spur gears, this method is effective. The pulley system has an advantage over the spur gear reducer system since the torque is amplified over a long distance. Thanks guys for watching our video. In our next video, we will uh, show you how to connect a stepper motor with a micro step driver and we will give you the code to run it. Until then, take care. See ya.